There is a hole in the universe, and it threatens each of us with its destructive power. I'm not talking about the mysterious black hole in the center of our galaxy that devours everything around it in a whirlpool of gravity. Or the super void, a cold, barren cavern in space, so massive it drains energy from any light that passes through. No, this hole, so potentially dangerous, is located much closer to home. For deep within every human heart, there is a spiritual void and a haunting emptiness that breeds anxiety, discouragement, fear, and an unquenched longing for true happiness and purpose. The philosopher Pascal called it the infinite abyss, and it's a vacuum we try to fill in a thousand different ways. We race through life in frantic pursuit of material possessions, financial security, meaningful jobs, entertainment, personal recognition, and escape from the pain and struggles of everyday life. But each of these attempts is, at best, a temporary fix. For the hole in our hearts can never be permanently satisfied by any created thing. Two thousand years ago, God entered the world to fill the hole forever. His solution? A death and resurrection with the power to transform our lives. Now, that's a difficult concept to grasp, but maybe this will help. In the original Greek of the New Testament, the word for transformation is metamorpho. It is the root of the English word metamorphosis, the term used for an extraordinary event that occurs in nature. A caterpillar, earthbound, painfully slow, and virtually blind, inches its way through life for a few short weeks, then encases itself within a chrysalis. Here inside a paper-thin shell, the caterpillar's body is broken down cell by cell. This is no death wish. Instead, the insect's deconstruction is the gateway to an entirely new way of living. In a matter of days, the biological structure of the caterpillar is completely rearranged, and the results are breathtaking. This incredible change is a metaphor for an even greater transformation God can perform in each of us. The metamorphosis of our heart mind, and spirit. Just consider his promises to anyone who turns from sin and accepts his gift of salvation. And the Lord said, look, I am making everything new. I will replace your heart of stone with a heart that is sensitive to me. I will renew your mind and give you a future filled with hope. Come. You who are weary, and I will give you rest. For I know your hardships and care about your sufferings. I will be your safe place in times of trial. I will forgive your sins and remember them no more. In this world, you will have trouble, but take heart. I have overcome the world. <laughs>